we got a sea of rooftop units. We're in East Rockaway, New York right now, and we have multiple rooftop units here, multiple stores, starting with that old York, the Daikin VRF system, carrier, a ream, another ream, another ream, another ream, another ream, another ream. And the other building is another building. So we haven't been here in a while, but this is Suite 6, the barbershop. And that sticker, even though it's UV resistant, it's uh it's been it's been doing its job. Alright. So this HVAC unit is electronically connected to the fire alarm system for automatic shutdown per NFPA 72. So the alarm company has this locked, uh, wired into the alarm system. So should there be a fire alarm, it's going to turn off the HVAC system. They got no heat. The thermostat is set for 70. It's reading 62 in the barbershop right below us. Let's go see what's going on. We'll take the cover off, see what's doing. All right, I removed the three screws in the bottom. Ah, One-handedly. Oh, nice how they did the, uh, the wiring there. I like that. All right, um, our electric and our control board is behind there. Let's just quickly look at everything. We have our Honeywell electronic ignition system. We have a rollout switch. We have our spark igniter. This is the inducer assembly goes out and vents out there quite simple pressure switch tubing let's open up the next compartment i didn't think that was going to come off i thought i'd do it by hand okay and now and there we go contactor for our compressor uh some kind of the relay we have a dual capacitor there single capacitor transformer pressure switch and here's our integrated furnace control board we're flashing let's count that one 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 looks like it's just flashing one time i don't know if you can see it in the video all right one flash on the back of that control board panel is our wiring diagram in ladder and a traditional. Here's our diagnostic codes. One flash, Fla fail to detect or sustain flame. So let's disconnect, um, let's disconnect R and that'll put an end to our call for heat. Okay. Now it's a solid red. I know you guys can't see that, but it's a solid red right now. Let me get a, uh, a Wago connector and connect this. I don't like these blue wire nuts. They're technically not, not supposed to be used more than once. So let me get a Wago out of my Vito TPXXL. Excellent right there. Let's get that 24 volt red wire in there. Now I'm going to connect that red wire. There's our inducer assembly. Powering up. We have draft. Solid red light. I did not expect to hear it right there. Sit it down there. That's for sure. Oh, look at that. Woo! Where's our disconnect? <laughs> wow. Like, what's up with that, really? Is it really like that? Tell me, say it ain't so. Step back in there like that. Yeah. Where's the disconnect? There's our gas. Here is power going in. Well, 
that makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> <sighs> Let's reconnect our heating wire. Okay. Reducer assembly is powered. Pressure is being sensed by the pressure switch. Let's see, hopefully this wire is good. It just appears to be just disconnected. Now we have spark and flame. We have ignition, look at that. Look at that beautiful blue flame. Tell me that ain't sweet. Beautiful. That is so nice. Isn't this so nice and nice? Nice and nice. That's right, baby. You're cooking with gas. All right, I replaced those three. I'm gonna keep it real. Shitty quarter inch screws that were there. I threw them on the roof here. Just keeping it real. See, there's one there. There's another one over there. And I put uh, some 516 screws in its place. Uh, let's check on the, can we see the heat exchanger from the other side? Heat exchangers there. Is this our heat exchanger? Probably, yeah. Let's take a peek inside. Let's see if we can see the heat exchanger. I don't. I think this is a. I don't know. Let's go see if we can see what's behind this panel. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes the service call. Behind that panel was my evaporator coil, blower motor, and below that I saw some holes for the access to the heat exchanger. Unless I suspect there's a problem, I'm not going to dig any deeper. I got the system up and running. I don't see any flame indication of flame rollouts or anything like that. We just had a disconnected wire. Why that disconnected? That's a great question. But when you call Pipe Doctor Home Services at 516-348-6300, you're, you're gonna get professional, 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 reliable, honest, courteous, and dependable HVAC services, whether your home or your office. We service these things. I love these things. It's so easy servicing these. I would service them 24-7, 365. But you got to have the Lord's Day off. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.